All right, wasn't gonna make a video today, but I was driving out in the country and my caliber seized up on me. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to get this caliber unseized. I already got the bolts back here loose. Just to give you an idea, this is seized on there real good. So what I'm gonna try to do, I'm gonna see if I can unseize this caliber see if it uh stay unseized and if that don't work we're gonna try to put a new caliber on here so we're gonna go from there all right so apparently i'm not gonna be able to do this with one hand all right so basically what i did i got a screwdriver kind of just pried it in there and kind of just beat it a little bit with the hammer to kind of break it loose just like that okay so we got the caliber off. Took a little beating to get it off. Um, you want to set your caliber up on something that can support it so it won't be hanging on the hose. Uh, we already hit it with some penetrating oil. Hopefully that bolt will unrust we can get it loose. Okay, so I got one of the brake pads off. I flipped it with some on backwards. I'm going to use a C-clamp and I'm going to go ahead and try to get this caliber unseized by using the brake pad and the seat clamp and pushing this uh, pushing this in okay so what I did was I had the brakes taken apart I used uh, I used this seat clamp to loosen up this uh, cylinder and put everything back together hit the brake and Looks like it's still trying to seize up again, so I don't think this caliber is saveable. So I might have to end up getting a new one. All right, so getting this off is real simple. You got two 10 millimeter bolts. You got one right here. You got one right here. And you also got a 14 millimeter right there that I just loosened up. And it's so leaking brake through it. Got brake fluid dripping in this bottle right here. I'm trying to save some of it, but eventually I'm gonna end up getting more brake fluid anyway. That's your 14 meter liter right there. A smart thing to do if you're trying to save your brake fluid, get you a syringe and just suck all the brake fluid out. Find a container to put your brake fluid in. That way you can put it back in there. That's if you want to save your brake fluid. So what you want to do to get this boat off, you got to hit it with some penetrating oil. All right, you did it. Just let it sit for 10 minutes and it's going to loosen up just like that. So got the old brake caliber off. Got the fluid catching in the catch pin. Going to go ahead and replace it with a new one. All right, so we got the new caliber. Uh, Picked it up at O'Reilly, straight in my coil, my core, I should say, for this part. We're gonna go ahead and install this. So I went ahead and installed these new clips here. These are the old ones here. You also get two new bolts to come with the new caliber, as well as a new 14 millimeter bolt. I'm gonna go ahead and just slide this on here like this. Make sure it's a fit, and it is. So we're gonna go ahead and put our new brake uh, brake pads in. These brake pads are still usable, so I'm gonna use the same ones I had from the old caliber. Now, if you have trouble getting this on, these are adjustable to help you get it on the rotor. So we're just gonna go ahead, get this on here. It's kind of hard for me to do this with one hand. So you basically want to just get it on there. You want this part to be locked underneath here. And you want this. Let's see if I can get it on camera. You want this part here down here to be flushed in with this. So when you got it on here, this is what you want it to look like. You want this pin to be in here. You want this to be flushed in with this new pin you got. Same thing with the bottom. You want this bracket to be flushed in 
with this pin. Now we can go ahead and get these bolts on. That's a bleeder screw. I got the cover for that. We're gonna cover that once we bleed the brakes. One thing I know is about these bolts, the new bolt is two sizes higher. So this is actually a 12, this is a 10 minute. So we're gonna go ahead and tighten up this second bolt. Now last, you wanna remember to hook up the hydraulic brake line holes to your brake caliber. You don't wanna forget that. All right, this is the finished product. We already didn't bleed the brakes. We're gonna add more brake fluid. And we're going to go from there. You basically want to do this in the star pattern so that the wheel won't fall off on you. Alright, we got the wheel on there. We're going to go ahead and recycle the fluid that we leaked. Just like that. And that will end the video of the rear brake caliber replacement on the 2002 Ford Explorer. If you made it this far, I want to tell you something about uh, the hydraulic brake line and the caliber. Before you put that hydraulic brake line back on, you want to make sure that washer seal is in there between the hydraulic brake line and the caliber itself when you screw it in that uh, 14 millimeter bolt. Reason being is if you miss that step, you're going to leak brake through it when you hit the brakes. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more, subscribe to this channel. I like to ask at the end of the video to subscribe because I'm not going to waste your time and be like, oh, before we start this video, subscribe. No, watch the video first. If you like it, you want to see more, go ahead and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. See you soon.